Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use sort feature in Microsoft Word. Here you can see I have a list of fruits starting from apple, banana, cherry up to papaya. The fruits in this particular list are arranged randomly without any particular order. Now, if you want to arrange these fruits alphabetically, then we can use the sort feature in Microsoft Word. For that, first we need to select all the list like this, go to home tab, in the paragraph group, right over here, you can see we have this option sort. Simply click over it and here you can see we have three options. Sort by, within sort by, we have these three options, paragraphs, headings and field. And right next to it, we have this particular option where we can choose the type, which is text, number or date. And finally, towards right, we have the order, whether it should be ascending or descending. So here I'm sorting my list by paragraphs, text and in ascending order and I'm going to click on OK and there you can see our list has been arranged alphabetically. Now you can see it starts from apple, apricot and ends at strawberry and watermelon. You can see I have selected the list without selecting the headings. Let me select the heading this time like this. Again, go over here and right over here, you can see we have this option. My list has no header row or header row. So this is an additional option. If your list has a header row, you need to check this particular radio button and then click on OK. Similarly, we can also use sort feature to sort a table. First, select a table like this. Go again over here. And this time I'm going to sort my table using the grid option. So over here, I would choose text. It should be ascending. Click on OK. And there you can see our table has been sorted as per grades, which actually starts from A till C. Similarly, we can also sort our table using the numerical feature. Simply sort by edge. And you can see Microsoft Word has automatically detected it to be a number. And let's keep all the things as such and click on OK. And there you can see now our table has been sorted regarding to the age of each students. So there are some other options as well. You can see we can use multiple options like we can sort a table by number then by some other parameters as well. And finally over here we have this option. For example, we can separate fields at using tabs, commas or some other options. But most of the times, these particular features are not used. So that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.